Edwin Land was a tough act to follow, especially because he never planned to leave. There was no succession planning, uh, which isn't to say other places are better at it, but Polaroid was particularly abysmal. Land's longtime right-hand man, Bill McCune, tried to fill the void before giving way to another veteran Polaroid executive, Mac Booth. In 1988, Polaroid faced a hostile takeover from a group of corporate raiders. The company adopted a poison pill defense based on an employee stock ownership plan, or ESOP. It required employees to give up a portion of their salaries and benefits in exchange for newly issued shares. Everybody chipped in and bought stock so that we wouldn't be bought out by another company. And that, that was our way of supporting Mac Booth at that time. It ended uh, saddling the company with debt, but I don't think there was any choice. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. This was the time of the, of the uh, takeover barons. And uh, uh, we were a target, and they came after us, and we had to defend ourselves. At the time, it certainly seemed to be a very smart and almost essential move to, to keep the company independent. And in fact, I would tell you that I would say my best year at Polaroid was 1989, after that, when we really, really uh, cranked up the efficiencies and people just felt like they were working towards a very, very important cause. In the 90s, Polaroid faced a growing challenge from digital media. Professional photographers such as Sandy Middlebrooks of Dorchester and Jerry Evelyn of Brighton, long accustomed to making test shots with Polaroids, found their clients increasingly interested in digital images instead. My clients were calling and they were saying, Jerry, what's going on here? Uh, do you have digital? And I said, well, digital is not there yet. So I continued to say that until I saw the writing on the wall when my first client went out the door. Then I said, you know something? Digital is here. For fine art photographer Linda Cook, who's long worked with an emulsion transfer process invented by Polaroid, the move to digital was a matter of economics. It's actually made it much less expensive because of the cost of the film. As the price of all the technology comes down, definitely the price of producing my art is able to come down as well, which has been a real, a real save in terms of being able to produce art and make money from it. Polaroid had been looking into bringing out a digital camera for years. But there was a business problem, and the business problem was that the margins that we made with the traditional Polaroid photography were very high. The digital margins are very low. And so there was this reluctance to take the leap and say, we're going to go after this digital market. In 1995, Polaroid hired its first CEO from outside the company. Gary DiCamillo, formerly of Black & Decker, announced his intent to change the culture at Polaroid. DiCamillo regularly during his tenureship would announce a new digital strategy or a new slew of digital products or a new emphasis on the digital arena, but it never turned into anything real. The company also managed to infuriate Wall Street with you know, a number of really big missteps. You know, Wall Street hates surprises and they hate bad surprises and Wall Street was always getting surprised by Polaroid because they weren't telling the truth about the outlook for sales, revenues, profits. Polaroid may also have lost touch with its market. My own feeling is that they've lost sight of the customer and the customer's needs. They're looking for the magic tablet that's going to bring them to nirvana. And listening to the customer is going to bring them back. I couldn't bear to give up Polaroid be before the last gasp. I couldn't. I'd love the camera too much. The company's predicament imperils the careers of photographers such as Elsa Dorfman of Cambridge, who has spent much of her working life using a large format Polaroid. If you hit me on the right day, I'm full of denial, and I think, well, they'll, they'll keep on making this film. There, there are 12 people with cameras, you know, that use this film. Who knows? I mean, you know, who knows? Corporations are so mysterious. You know, and they don't always make the decisions that are obvious to us. The company, which declined an invitation for an on-camera interview, has offered little explanation for its recent actions. Canceling the health insurance retroactively uh, with uh, 
no warning, basically, to employees. Uh, people who had had procedures done uh, right up to the date of cancellation and then found that they weren't insured and covered for that period, they certainly haven't been uh, forthcoming to the employees, and that has never been the Polaroid way. I decided to call one of the old-time board members, and I did. Got him on the phone, and I said, how can you let this happen? What's going on? And what he said to me was, I don't know anything about it. I think this was a board that was dead at the switch, not particularly involved, showing up at meetings. I've heard some of them dozing through them, reading the newspaper, whatever. Uh, but in, a, in any event, it's a massive failure of the governance process. But perhaps above all, Polaroid is another casualty of the culture of greed. Well, there's a lot of companies that had to distort their balance sheets and uh, take their eye off the ball of what, what basically was their modus operandi to thwart uh, unwelcome takeovers. And in many cases, with hindsight, it was a terrible decision for the stockholders, not necessarily the management at the time. Um, and a lot of those companies, like Polaroid, have, have since gone bankrupt. And while the retirees await word on their pensions, more layoffs are expected as possible new bidders from the company for the company are rumored. And the end of an era in Bay State business will occur this coming summer when Polaroid's landmark plant in Waltham closes for good, a facility designed by IMP. What happens to the workers? The work is going to Holland and Mexico. Chronicle will be back in a moment.